morning guys welcome to today's video good morning guys welcome to today fun fact did you guys know that gabby's shy gabby's a shy girl she's a little bit shy unless she knows you then not she's not school. shy yeah not in school when she gets to know you she's not shy but when not she first meets you girl. ever since she was a little girl ever since she was a little girl she's been shy was everybody in my class she was she was that girl and you know who else I was, was like that, that girl her dad was like that too because they're quiet they don't cause trouble that's why that's what happened my teachers loved me yeah they did they haven't seen her since the whole when puberty thing coffee, happened. i can't stop uh fun fact sophie is a shy girl too until you get to know her kind of quiet i'm so shy yeah, yeah. She is so shy. i was shy when that i was young me. I was shy when I was young, but I'm not shy now. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. Today we're headed out super early because, unfortunately, we have to go to the tech store. Unfortunately for them, they probably see us coming because there's so many of us and we're so busy in there. This is from 2001. 2001. Uh, this is to mom from Kyle. Aww. Aww. Kyle's my middle son. Yeah, my favorite. The first ordinary. Why is he your favorite? He bought me star coins. He bought her star coins for Christmas. Okay, so the first ornament on the tree was Stella. And then I put Finn. And then there's Gracie. Willow. Wi Willow. There's Gracie's galloping. Storm. Gracie's and the left of Storm. Gracie's right here. So our tree's not completely decorated yet, but there is a story behind this ornament I tell it every single year you guys are probably tired of hearing it but I'm going to tell it to you again it has the word Sophia across right there so long ago when I wanted to have another baby I got pregnant really fast with Gabby and then trying to get pregnant with Sophie was the first time I've ever had fertility issues I was an older mom I was 38 maybe it took me 11 months to get pregnant with Sophia that was the longest that ever took me to get pregnant before in my life and there were lots of days where I was like oh I wonder if I'm gonna have a baby but God showed me that I was gonna have a baby I dreamed her so many times before I even had Gabby I dreamed two babies that looked really similar but one was way chubbier than the other that's what I dreamed and um, I knew in my heart that Sophia was coming so uh, Gabby was a year and a half old and we were coming up to her second Christmas and I still wasn't pregnant and I went to this dollar store and they had ornaments with names on it back then they that was a new concept people didn't you didn't really find that very often so I bought one that said Gabriella and I bought one that said Sophia and I went to pay and Sam threw a big fit and he's like, why would you buy that? You don't even have a Sophia. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I'm going to have a Sophia and I found the ornament now. I'm going to have it and keep it. And he was like, that's so stupid. You know, and I said, but I'm going to have a Sophia. And I knew it and I believed it and I dreamed it and it happened. So that was in maybe November and in January I got pregnant with Sophia. So very soon after I bought that ornament, I got pregnant with Sophia. And so I have the ornament and I have Sophia. It is a true testament to the fact that God has a plan for every single one of us and even when the going gets tough, keep going because you never know when an amazing miracle can happen in your life, whether it be a baby, a job, a boyfriend, a windfall, Bobby. like you never know when it's gonna Bobby. happen. So just keep going, keep pushing forward and I promise good things will happen because God ultimately wants good things for you. It's at like 20% rain today and it's gonna rain. I can I can tell. You know how I can tell? There are raindrops okay. on my windshield. Is it raining? 72. Uh, no. Why are you bringing a pillow in the car? Because it's warm. 
<laughs> a warm pillow. It's not, that's, that's, I think that's frost. It just melted. Okay, frost. It just melted. But anyway, welcome to a Friday the 13th. I'm waiting Can for you Sophie. Turn the car off? I can't. Sophie had to take my keys. Sophie tried to get out of the house with messy hair. Sometimes she tries to put it in an elastic and make me think that she brushed it. But, but I know she crazy. didn't. What? It's greasy too. No, she just washed it. Anyway, today is Friday the 13th. The girls have lessons with Brandon. No stirrup lessons with Brandon. Anyway, we are headed out to the tax store. I just wanted to tell you this story before we go. Before I forget, because I always want to tell you stuff and then I forget. Last night I had washed Penny down during the day after our ride and it was sunny out and like not too bad, but it wasn't warm enough. To... But it wasn't warm enough. Wait. To... So anyway, she was wet when I put her to bed last night and the temperature was going to go down to minus one and I was like, Oh, I don't want to be, her to be cold. It's definitely warmer in the bar, but her window was open and I don't know. I put like a fuzzy warm blanket on her for the night. Her owner told me that she never has had a blanket on before, so I was a little worried. And then when I like showed it to her, she was like, oh, it's a fire breathing dragon. And then I'm like, hmm, should I do it? And then I did it, put it on her. And once I laid it on her though, she was kind of like, oh, this is nice. And then I hardly slept all night because I was worried about Penny in the stall with a blanket. I imagined all these crazy things like her overheating and colicking. And then I worried about her getting tangled in it because she didn't know what to do with it because she always lays down. Then I worried about her getting cast in her stall. Like I worried about it all, you guys, because that's what it, that's what good moms do. We don't sleep, we worry. Anyways, so I went down this morning and I've discovered that what she does is sleep like hours laying down and then as soon as she hears me she stands up so every time when I go in she's just standing up but that's why she always looks a mess when I go in and she was so content so happy I put my hand inside the blanket and she was just normal warm she wasn't like super cold like she wasn't super hot she wasn't sweaty but I swear she loved that blanket like it was this nice cushy soft blanket to sleep on like she loved it she's such a girl and the other thing I wanted to tell you is that last night I or two nights ago I had a dream that I was talking to Penny and she talked to me you guys and she was like that old lady that old lady kind of woman that you know the old ladies that feel sorry for themselves all the time they're just like poor me poor me all the time and no matter what you say they never change it's just the way that they are and it's just how they're gonna be till they die but she was like that and she was telling me I hate that you let those kids ride me they pull on me and they tell me to do stuff and I just hate those kids they're always running and they're making noise and yeah like I dreamed that Penny told me she hates my kids so yeah, that's all I want to tell you. Let's go to the tax store. Well, look who saw our car and is like, where are your puppies? Does she have like a heart-shaped brown on yeah. her side? <gasps> that's amazing. They die Do they? Yeah. Oh, like a tattoo. I want to do, do that. You guys see it? Anyway, she thought our horses were here. I mean, our dogs. She that She's the dog that started it all for us. Gabby loved her so much. She saw Gabby, ran, got a stick, and brought it to her. Isn't that amazing? We should give our dogs a tattoo. I'm gonna give Penny a tattoo. Oh, this is the supplement that I buy for Storm and Penny. And they have this stuff too. Keep forgetting to buy this for Finn. Oh, those are the ones that I want to get, but I like the colored ones. So they're kind of like what I have, but they're thinner. Like no, ones are black. no, and they have color at the end. See where the brown is there? Yeah, they're cute. They're, I want to get the colored ones, though. I like them. Sophie wants this thing so badly. But look at this. Look at this. We need to get new ones of these. Like, we've lost all the pieces of our braiding kit. I like that one, though. Uh, do you want this? For Finn and Estelle, yeah, yeah. He, he ran out like... Yeah. We have a... Um, uh, yeah, but it's pink. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't ever use it. Is there anything else you like? No, the boots that I want are not here. Are they like boot, boots like that? Almost. They're the kind of like very nice. Yeah, they have fur in them. They're leather on the outside and fur on the inside. No, there's no, there's no fur in Oh, it looks like it. Clips. To hold your drink? And bridle and stuff there. So like if you took it to a bridle show or something? and grooming bag. Super cute. 
What'd you find? I hate one? briar. They break so oh, easy, those little ones. Yeah, I want winter riding gloves for Christmas. Those are riding. But I kind of like the ones that Gabby got. Where are they? Um, they're not here. Like, I don't want super heavy winter. I want a little bit winter. These are nice. Um, these are winter, and they're riding gloves. I know. They're like ski gloves. They're too thick. They have the green here. Oh, they have the green. That's what the green looks like. These are what Gabby wants for Christmas. What size are those? Won't fit. Size 22. Won't fit. They look a little small too. Yeah, they look small. I like this jacket. Like Gabby's like picky in that she only likes what she likes. These are 24, she, one size too small. And she only likes what she these are large. fits, not necessarily a brand. Yeah, that's And what, I want navy. You want navy? So these are what Sophie wants for Christmas. Are these, these look like royal blue. Yeah, Gabby also wants these snow pants. Do they have your Mentally size? Snow pants? Riding pants. That's I don't know thing. what size I am. So at this store, remember I told you guys I wanted to get a pair of leather paddock boots that are winter. I love them. They have them. I think I want to try on a pair. Okay, so these are Ariat, and I love them. I'm putting them on my Christmas list because they're warm. It just has a really small seat. Gabby wants a pony saddle really bad, and that was 25% off. 15 and a half seat. Find a prestige. Do you think they have prestige here? No, they don't. But look at that one's cute. That dressage went over there. What one? All right, so, whoops. So we're done at the tag store. I got so many things like to put on my Christmas list. I need to go, like right now I'm just compiling my list, and then I'm gonna go on a big shopping blitz probably next week whenever the girls are not with me, whenever Sam can be home we'll go together because we do all of our big grocery or we do all of our big christmas shop together but anyway on today's list i got a bunch of shavings and i got finn uh salt lick and i got the supplement for penny because these only last about two weeks and it costs 70 dollars for this it costs 200 dollars for the big bucket but they don't keep the big bucket in stock. So every time I go there, I have to ask her to order it. So she's going to order me a couple of them. One for Storm and one for Penny. Supplements are definitely expensive, but have their place in the horse world, I guess. It's officially freezing. Freezing out. And I don't have any mitts. I struggled finding a coat. I had my coat this morning. And then when I went to get it, now it's missing. So now I have on two sweatshirts. I don't like to ride in big bulky winter coat. I feel like everything, you know how though you have those moments where everything goes wrong at the exact same time? Yeah, that is what's happening to me. And I need mitts. Cannot ride without mitts. Because this girl's hands are frozen. Even my nose is frozen. Oh my goodness, this thing is crazy. Alright, there we go. So, uh, Gabby and I are going to go for a trail ride and we're going to go bigger. Why do you have Grace's halter? I don't know. I like this halter on Gracie better though. The black one. Do you like the black one? Is it because you won the black one? I find it too big. Gracie? Yeah. I feel like it goes to her nose. Like I feel like That's yesterday. Not supposed to go on her No, I feel like it goes right up into her eye. Uh, hi. Hi. Chubby one. Chubby two. You ready to go for a little ride? We're just going to go for a trot down the road. Not a trot. Which one's the chubbiest? No, oh, she looks good. She's fat. Well, a little fat, but not as fat as her. All right, are we going? What's happening? Are you coming with me or not? See those ears? Uh, Ga Sophie, Gabby, if you go ahead. If I rush it, she doesn't come to me. Oh, see, patience. I never know if like when she comes to me in the field, if that's a good sign or if it's a bad sign. And today is Friday the 13th, so we're gonna find out. We're not going crazy, Pen. We're just gonna go for a little ride. All right, it's okay. Don't be looking over there. Look at me. Pay attention to me, Penny Poop, Penny Pop, Penny Popsicle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when she's walking, I hear a sound. I don't know what it is, and it sounds to me like she's snapping her lips together like when she sees the saddle whoa that's a half halt these are my hands 
Hey, we're getting ready to stop. Oh, good girl. This is my pretty princess. Okay, I feel you getting, whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa. so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight I'm letting it go spend my coin for sure one thing I found about Penny is that she actually likes to walk I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else no one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes this horse I can tell has been trained a lot better than I've been trained when I do oh what was that a trip when I do like a little squeeze with my hands on the reins to, to remind her to pay attention to me to listen to me she anticipates like she's like oh okay what's happening so obviously somebody in the past has told her like when I give a little squeeze on the reins it means pay attention something's coming and all I wanted was her to pay attention to me. <laughs> but I can tell she's got like a lot of training in her. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive. Wow, look at my girl. Look at the beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Good girl. We got Gracie behind us making all sorts of noise. Sounding like she's coming up behind us. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive. of a bridge a girl penny so her owner did tell me that she goes over water she goes through water she goes over a bridge i think she wants to put her head down a little there's an actual huge problem with my new horse a huge problem with my new horse. The huge problem is my horse is perfect for me. Like, I've never had anything, I've never ridden a horse like this before. Like, in every way, she's perfect for me. When we go down hills, she's like a Cadillac. You know when you sit on a horse and you go downhill and you have to really lean back? When we go downhill, it's like a Cadillac. It's like I'm sitting on this big cushy leather cushion and I just sit back and she is amazing like there's nothing that this horse does 
that isn't incredible. Like, I can't even tell you guys. So, my camera died. I only have one little carrot left. I'll go get you some treats. Anyways, what I was saying is that my camera died. So many crazy things happened. So many crazy things. Gabby ran ahead of us. Like, she ran Gracie ahead of us a whole bunch of times. A horse ran up behind her. Ran up behind her. And guess what she did? Nothing. She walked as slow as I asked her to. She walked as fast as I asked her to. Half the way, Gabby was walking home in front of us, which was painstakingly slow because Penny has such a much bigger stride. And guess what Penny did? Nothing. Didn't even complain a single solitary bit. She... See, she's not pinning her ears when I'm touching with her girth and messing with her because we're, we're done. She's perfect, you guys. Like a big, huge tractor trailer came. Big, huge tractor trailer came. And guess what Penny did? Nothing. I was like kind of having a bit, bit of a heart attack thinking like, oh God, nothing. Not even a flinch. She just kept on walking, head down. Who cares? Like she's amazing. All the problems I had on our last trail ride where I trailered her in, have had none of them since we came home. None, not a single problem. I don't know what it is. I don't know why the change. I don't know if it's because she's not in heat now, so she's back to normal and being perfect. I don't know. What is it, Pen? She is everything her owner told me that she was and more. Her owner, her old owner told me that she's, per like the lady cried. She did not want to get rid of her. She told me that she's perfect, she's one in a million, and that this horse will give me her whole life. And you guys, I can't even get over how perfect she is. Like, she's so good for me. She's stubborn, she's gonna teach me a little, but she's amazing. Gabby found her kitty. Found her little kitty, listen. Our cats are very purry. Every once in a while when we're out on a trail or we're out riding and she gets angry, I feel her clamp down on the bit and and pull. Like she's like, no, I'm not doing that. But for the most part, she's been so phenomenal. I guess when she says she does want to go, that it's a good thing. I need to clean your eyes. That's my girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful?